So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to use chat GPT on your iPhone. Now we, we still don't have an app yet for chat GPT on both the Apple app store or Android play store, but you can use GPT using your mobile browser. Now you can either choose the default Safari, which is default on any iPhone, or you can use any of your favorite, favorite browsers. Now for me, my favorite web browser is Chrome, Chrome mobile for iOS. So launch that and then go to chat.openai.com. Simple as that, then hit go. And it's going to take you to this uh, chat GPT page. Or you can either log into your chat GPT account if you already have one. And if you don't have one, you can simply uh, sign in for one. So since I have an account, I'll simply tap on login. If you don't have an account, you can watch my other video on how to create or sign up for chat GPT account. I'll link it down below in the description. So let me quickly log in with my email address and password. And there you go, so we're currently logged in. And as you can see, you're going to get this uh, little message telling you this is a free research preview. So currently it's still in the research uh, stage. Hit next, done. And there you go, so there is chat GPT and you're now ready to start asking questions and uh, asking uh, whatever you want to ask. So this is the main page. If you want to start asking stuff or making inquiries, simply tap on this chat box and then type in your question there. And also the menu is right here in the top left corner. Simply tap on that and you can see all your chats or all your conversations are going to be listed here. And then here you have the option to either enable dark mode or disable it. You have the uh, link to open the, the OpenAI Discord page. Uh, you have updates and the questions and answers. You can log out of your uh, chat GPT account from here. Okay, so it's as simple as that. It's a very simple platform and easy to use. So let's ask it a couple of questions. So for instance, let's ask it, uh, would Obama be a good president for Kenya? So that's what you're going to ask chat GPT. And let's, let's see how we can have a conversation about this particular topic. So just type and then tap on that and then give chat GPT some time and it's going to start typing in the answers. So it says Barack Obama, who served as the 44th president of the United States, would not be eligible to serve as Kenyan president as he's not Kenyan citizen. Additionally, it's not appropriate to speculate on this qualifications of an individual for a position in a foreign government without knowledge of their specific policy, stances, and plans for that country. So actually that's a very uh, solid and safe answer. So let's ask it something else. So there's something I asked earlier in another video. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask it once again. Uh, what would an Eminem Christmas song be like? So we're just asking chat GPT, what will an Eminem Christmas song be like? So let's see what answer we get. So it's currently working. It's difficult to say exactly what an Eminem Christmas song will sound like, as it will uh, depend on his personal creative choices and the direction he chooses to take uh, the song in. However, it's, it's really fast. So it's worth noting that Eminem has not released a Christmas song yet. So as you can see, ChatGPT is uh, very conversational in the way it replies to you. It doesn't give you very complex answers. It almost uh, talks to you like an, another human being will talk to you. And it's, it's actually very incredible. Anyway, that's how you can use uh, ChatGPT on your phone, on your iPhone specifically. But it's more or less the same instructions for Android devices. Now, if you want to copy some of the questions and responses from ChatGPT, you can simply touch and hold and you can drag and copy and select and copy just like you would on any other text on your phone. Also, if you go to the menu, you can actually see our conversation is here 
And from here, you can actually rename this conversation so that next time you're, when you're having a new conversation and you have a couple of conversations, you can actually see them listed here uh, given the names you chose. Okay, so just uh, tap on the check mark. And as you can see, we have now renamed our conversation. Also, you can choose to delete a conversation by tapping on this uh, bin icon uh, on the extreme right hand side. And if you have multiple conversations, you can clear or delete all of them by simply tapping on clear conversations, confirm, and that's going to clear and delete all your chat GPT conversations. And that's basically how to use chat GPT on your iPhone. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.